นะโมตัสสะภะคะวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะนะโมตัสสะภะคะวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะนะโมตัสสะภะคะวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะ I would like to pay respect to the blessed one, the Buddha, the blessed one's teachings or dharma, and the noble disciples of the blessed one or the sangha. <laughs> Hi everyone, long time no see. Now I'm all the sweating because actually I record for 25 minutes, and the mic is not working. The microphone is not working. But now. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> okay, long time no see. Um, from the last post um, that I said that I wrote that I got uh, the COVID 19 right, and after that um, I got like the the Buddhist Lent day, right, and then I came to stay here while in this period. I came to stay in um, Lampang Province. It's in the the seventh branch of n i r o d a r a m It's in Lampang. It's called Maha Wana. Maha is mean great or big. Wana is mean forest. So Maha Wana is mean the great or the big forest. But I'm going to show you the the picture soon. That there's not that big trees. Uh, It's very very hot, but it's normal for Thailand, and it's just in the first stage, you know. Um, this place, it was the f um, it was first started to do like the construction thing, like to do the the land and everything. Um, March last year, March 2021, and now just like over a year, and there's a lot of things going on here and. It's normal. The trees are still growing, um, getting bigger and bigger. But now it's still small. But that's fine. So, yeah. Well, today um, I have a topic to talk to you. I have to tell you the truth. Um, for the last seven days, I think. I was contemplating. I was thinking, like, okay, I was absent for so so long, you know, for doing the English Dharma talk, and I just don't know which topic should I talk about. Because now that I'm moving here to Lampang, and it's still in the first stage, right? The, um. It has like the some construction working going on. Um, there is some you know like um, trees plantings going on. Not me, um, for the lay people, I have to you know like get involved. Like okay, here okay maybe not here okay. You gonna do that okay okay gonna do the cleaning. I'm um, like the cleaning service. <laughs> And uh, like manage everything, you know. Like just when you first start um, building the house, you have to do like most of the things, right? You not give the strength, but you have to get involved in some way or another. So I was doing that, so I don't have that much time to read the Tibetaka as I used to be. I don't have to have a time to read like okay the English translation from this sutra. I don't even have a chance to give the Dharma in Thai language, so let alone English language. So yeah, for um, I think about seven days earlier, I was contemplating okay which topic, which topic, I would like to do the Dharma talk in English. But I don't know which topic, because I don't have a time to read the Tipitaka. I don't even have a time to do anything, because I I got invited to to do the talk in Thai, and to be a lecturer in in university as well, and now I'm giving the course. Um, it's called meditation for a better life, 
something like that. So it was like, there's many things going on. So I was thinking about like the topic to talk, you know, and then I realized that the Blessed One teachings is in everyday life. It's in the nature because the Buddha's teachings is a nature law, is the fact. Just like when you do the meditation, you don't be, you don't be meditative. Just only when you close the eye, um, sit cross leg, and do like this or like this or like this. It's not just like that. You can be meditative or be in a meditative state throughout the day while you're walking, while you're working, while you're talking, while you're eating, while you're going to the toilet, when you're doing the laundry, while you're sweeping, while you're cleaning. So it's not limit, you know, to a certain thing. The Blessed One teachings is not just in the book, to be in meditative state, you don't have to be like this. But you can do the walking meditation as well. You can do the scanning body as well. You can do the loving kindness as well. So when I realized that, I just like, okay, now I got a topic to talk about. So I would like to talk about um, something that's happening today. Today is extremely hot here in Mahawana. Some people might um, complain about the heat. But when you think about the heat, then you can think about one sutra from the Buddha. He said like, this is something that the monk, like the, the people should contemplate every day. That is the truth, is the fact that is in this body. I'm gonna get the, the book for you. I don't have the sutra. I don't have like the tipitaka, but I have like the the morning chant, um, the chanting book. The Buddha said here in the the sutra called Sarirata Thamma Sutra. It's about something that is really exists in the body. Buddha day, the cold, the heat here, the heat is here, um, the hunger, the, um, the thirst, you know, like um, thirsty, um, and when you go to the toilet, right, and you have you like the, I don't know in English, like the feces, the feces, I think. So this is like something that's in the body, so it's normal. It's normal that you live in like um, Sweden and you feel cold. I don't know. Or maybe you live in the, the North Pole. It's normal for you to, you know, have the cold more than the heat in the body. But now in Thailand, especially in Lampang, in Mahawana, it's normal for the heat. So, so it's the normal thing. It's the normal thing, but what? you can do is to control the mind. Okay, I know it's extremely hot. It's like you're in the sauna all day long, sweat all day long, but it's normal. If there's snow in Thailand, that's not normal. But if there's heat in Thailand, it's normal. But it's up to the mind that you happy or not? You content or not? You have the greed? You want to be cold? Are you serious? This is in Thailand, even in the rainy season, but we don't have rain. Is it strange? No, I don't think so. This is normal. It's nature. Okay, so what can I do about it? When you realize that it's normal. 
the weather is hot, but if the mai is accompanied with the madness, with the anger, I'm so mad. It's so hot. What should I do? Then the suffering occurs. But if the weather is hot, but the mind is calm, okay, it's normal. Not just only me that feel hot. Everyone feel hot. He even, you know, exposed to the sun more than you. You're still here in the room doing the life, but for the construction worker, he working under the the sun. So if you think about that, and you say like, okay, I'm fine with the heat. If there is no wind, that's fine. It's just only heat, that's fine. It's normal. And if the mind is calm, is the mind is just steady. Nothing can you know trouble you. Nothing can bother you. You can live in the cold. You can live in the heat. You can live in the rain. It's just like the the factor from outside, but it cannot affect the mind because you train to control the mind. You train the mind well enough. So that's it. You can learn the Buddha's teachings from real life. This this is me teaching myself as well. But I'm happy. I'm happy here, and I'm happy to finally get a topic to talk to you. So please leave a comment. Like, do you like it or not? If I don't have something to talk from the sutra from the Pitaka, is it okay for you? Or you like the the previous clips? That okay? You're gonna have the the Pitaka. I have to. You have to have the reference. Um, like um, I got the sutra from which book? Which book? Or is it just to talk about it? If you have time, you can search the Pitaka. But if you don't have time, that's okay for you. Just leave the comments or the feedback. I would like to know more about it because now I learned that just be with the blessed ones' teaching is just the blessing that you get every day. It's important at the mind, train the mind through any methods. You can train the mind by doing the meditation. Just like I talked earlier, that you train the mind while you're doing meditation, right? Sitting meditation. But when you open the eye and see the real world, and you have to work in the real world, you have to have the communication with the world, society. You have to expose to many many things. In real life, can you be mindful of what you're doing? That's important. That's why you have to train to meditate like this, because you can be able to get used to this state of being a, a meditative, and then use in real life. Real life is. The real place for you to do the exam of the blessed ones' teachings. Okay, that's it for today. Um, let's hope we meet again. If you think I can do it like this, I'm gonna do again. But if you think like, okay, 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 I don't like this. Okay, then I'm gonna have some time, maybe not that soon, to read through all the Tipitaka. Uh, not not all. To read through some. To read through some of the Tipitaka and do the Dhamma teaching, just like I used to in the past. So that's it for today. Thank you for listening, and we we'll see each other again soon. Goodbye.